Okay, for this project, um, you're gonna need dowels. And I use for the bigger ones, you'll see what they're all for here in a minute, um, either half inch or five eighths. And for the little ones, I use quarter inch. These are, you'll see. Um, and so I thought I'd go ahead and show you my supply list. It starts with the dowels. We're going to be making juggling sticks or floggers, and you can do that in a lot of different ways. Here's a flogger. This is a heavy, long tassel flogger. This is a light, long tassel flogger. You can do these in a lot of different ways. Um, I like to upcycle rubber. And what I use is either motorcycle inner tubes, like this. You have to wash them real good outside before you use them. And these are already cut for the most part. Or a single ply roofing system. This is just a large sheet of rubber as well. Um, I also need a hand saw or a skill saw, whatever you can get your hands on, really. I like to have my neighbors help me out and take the skill saw to all of my dowels and cut them down. I'm making a lot today, so we're going to run them through the skill saw. My solid surface for your staple gun. Make sure you got plenty of staples for it. You need duct tape. And I also use the E6000 glue. And I was going to try putting some rhinestones on one of these today. Um, I have a nice variety of duct tape. Um, and I've also already pre cut one of my tassel sets for the juggling six. Okay, I'm going to have to make another one, so I'll show you that one as well. And I'll show you how all of this works out here shortly. So I have just finished up um, putting tape on this piece of roofing system. And what I need to do is make it match this. Um, I used the same weight rubber and I just made sure that they were the same size. Like that. Before I cut the rubber. And then went ahead and covered it with the duct tape for the decorations and now all I do is um, make the slits like this with a set of scissors. You can also use a box cutter which is great because you don't make your scissors go dull like crazy but I also like the control that I have with a set of scissors and you just cut it straight down to the bottom and leave between a half an inch and an inch at the bottom because you're going to need to um, staple this area later to the sticks themselves. So, I'm going to finish up cutting like that. And you don't have to worry too much about, you want the tassels to be about the same size but I always just eyeball it. Um, you don't want them to be too thick. They can't really be too thin unless they're going to break. And that's one of the first steps in this process. Okay, so I've spent a whole bunch of time um, cutting my end pieces. Um, I have this style that's kind of plaid looking with the duct tape and I have a whole bunch of others over here um, this one for example and I will take pictures and put them in the video once it's all said and done um, and so I have my dowels cut um, this is cut right at 18 inches it's a three foot dowel cut in half and it, this one is a 5 8 dowel and this one was cut into thirds at the quarter inch dowel and so now that I have my strips ready the process is very very easy you take the rubber strips you take a rubber strip on a nice hard surface 
you staple that sucker on there. Yay, it worked out the first time. They never go in all the way for me. So, see, stapled on. Easy enough. Now, you'll notice that I do have some left over up here, but it's going to get covered by this once I'm all done up here. So, the ends don't have to be gorgeous. You just have to get it on right. And what you want to do is roll this down nice and steady. All the way to the bottom. And the rubber gives it great grip, but the way that this overlaps all the way down also allows it to grip pretty good. As a matter of fact, when I'm teaching kids how to juggle, I teach them to do it with the edges here down. That way they hold on the sticks better. Almost done. All the way to the end. Mind you, see, really doesn't matter if you have some extra wood showing on the ends. I just like to be able to hide the staples once I start putting it together. This is done. What I do next is attach the tassels. And I like to glue and staple them on. So there goes to my, my E6000. Um, the staples will keep it in place. That and once this is done, once this is together, I will be um, taping it again. However, it's I believe that it'll stay together better longer if these don't have the opportunity to move at all. And the E6000 really holds it in place really, really well. Alright, so I'm taking the tassel here and I'm going to staple it in place as well with my hand do done to staple them I'll be right back okay we're back I just needed some staples back in my gun some flat. Now you don't have to stretch or pull or anything. You just need to tightly enough wrap the sucker on here. If you get to feel it nice and froggy, you can staple it every couple inches or a couple wraps if you, if you want to. Um, that's why I put the glue on there so I don't have to overdo stuff like that. The glue will hold it in place fabulously. Awesome. Okay. 
go ahead and staple the sucker in place. I'm going to get to work on the other end and um, all I'm going to do once I'm done is put some duct tape around the bottom here so I'll show you the finished product in just a moment. Okay, so here's the finished product. I put the um, regular silver duct tape around the end because it did match my plaid just fine. Sometimes I mark the center just because it makes it look good. And there's the other end. Um, also, the process was exactly the same for wrapping the control sticks here. Um, same idea. And I used black electrical tape here to meld it at the top and the bottom. See? Clean up the edge on my control stick as well. Black goes fabulously with this because, surprise, surprise, the rubber is black. And so I'll show you real quick how they work. Well, all good things come to an end. I'm not crazy about, about these no, really no, long no, tassels. I think they're a little bit too long, so I'm probably going to end up trimming them. But I'll leave them until I have them next to the other sticks so you can see the difference. Yay, juggling sticks. Anyway, so this is a lot of fun to do with the kids, a lot of fun to do with the family, a lot of, a lot of fun to do with the Sunday school group, a lot of fun to do with the library. So, you can always juggle it. Ta so, I've showed you how to make my juggling sticks. Now, there is a difference for the floggers and some other things that you need to keep in mind. So, I'm probably going to make a separate video for those. But you see that the concept's the same. You cut the stuff, you attach it. Just with the floggers, you need a shorter handle. And I like to have something to put around the wrist. Alright, hold on for pictures.